Hi, I'm Jason Gorman and this is your bonus code smell of the week. We're going to be looking at some copy and paste inheritance. So here's my example here. We've got two kinds of account class, loyalty account and settlement account, that have a lot of code in common. They're very similar. Someone probably copied and pasted the code from one to create the other and then change them slightly. And what we want to do is we want to take the code that's common to both of these classes and extract it into a shared superclass. So just point out what's different here. Um, we have a loyalty account which functions a bit like the accounts in previous examples except that we store loyalty points and then whenever we credit the account we increase the number of loyalty points by one. And we have a settlement account which again functions like the previous accounts except that we can store an amount owing in this field here and we, we can borrow against that account which increases the amount owing and we can settle which deducts the amount owing from the balance. So very similar apart from those small features there. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be extracting a superclass. So let's use the automated extract superclass refactoring here which does a pretty good job. Um, I'm going to give it a class name using the part of both of those class names that's common to both which in this case is account, settlement account and loyalty account. I'm going to specify that I want to extract from both of those classes. Okay, give it a while to think about it. This is obviously a very complicated computation. Okay, so there's uh, loyalty account and I need to specify what to do with the features of those classes. So balance the field, balance transactions on last transaction date those fields are common to both, so we want to extract all of those into the new superclass. Owing is uh, specific to the settlement account, so we can leave that alone. Get balance is common to both. Now they both have a credit method, but the implementations of those credit methods are different. So what we're going to need to do is declare an abstract method called credit, and that will be overrided in the, uh, the remaining subclasses. Debit's the same in both. Borrow and settle are unique to the settlement account. Execute transaction, get last transaction, get last transaction date, and record transaction and update last transaction date are common to both. So we specified that all the stuff that we want to extract, we specified one method that we're going to want to declare as an abstract method in the superclass. Okay, we're also going to specify here that we want to delete all of those features that are common to both. Um, so that they uh, only exist in the superclass. Just a quick preview of the code. OK. So just some messages there about visibility. It has to change the visibility of some features in order for the code to work once they're extracted into the, uh, the superclass. OK. And now it's going to give us a, a heads up about what it's going to do. So this test code here, for example, shows what happens is um, it will take references to the settlement account and it will replace them with references to the abstract account, um, which is very nice of it. And we can just go through and we can see what kind of changes it will make there. There you can see, for example, it gets rid of imports that it doesn't need and so on and so forth. It all looks good. So I click finish. It should do the whole refactoring for us, create this new class. I immediately, of course, run the tests. Looking good. So there we have our specialized settlement account which just has the bits it needs to do the extra stuff that a settlement account needs to do. And we have our specialized loyalty account which just has the extra bits it needs to do what a loyalty account needs to do. And if we look in here we've also now got an abstract account which has all of the common code. And that is how you get rid of copy and paste inheritance.